Hi boys and girls, Mrs. Anderson from the Conservation District and today on Exploring Mother Nature, we're going to talk about, you guessed it, apples. Apples are amazing. They taste really good and they're good for you. Maybe you've heard someone say, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. That means apples help keep you healthy. There are lots of kinds or varieties of apples. This is a Macintosh. There are Delicious, Granny Smith, just to name a few. And boys and girls, they're not all red. Some are yellow, some are green. And the best part, some are sweet and some are tart. What do you like better, sweet or tart? Boys and girls, do you know where apples come from? If you said they grow on an apple tree, you are right. This is what an apple tree looks like in the winter. In the winter, they are dormant, they're resting, getting ready for the coming season. Next, this is what they look like in the spring. They wake up, start to grow leaves and blossoms. Next, this is what they look like in the summer. They grow more leaves and the blossoms become small apples. Then in the fall, they look like this with full grown apples that we can harvest, pick and eat and enjoy. Boys and girls, do you know the parts of an apple tree? What do we call the parts of the tree that grow under the ground, that drink up the rain, get nutrients from the soil? If you said roots, you're right. Very good. What do we call the main part of the tree growing up straight and tall? The trunk of the tree, very good. Boys and girls, what covers the trunk of the tree? And when we touch it, some trees might be smooth, some trees might be rough. It's like a warm coat that covers the tree. If you said bark, you're right. What grows out from the trunk like lots of arms? They're called branches, very good. Boys and girls, what grows from the branches? They're usually small and green, and in the fall, they drop to the ground. If you said leaves, you're right, very good. Also growing in the spring are blossoms. They will grow into apples. Excellent, now you know the parts of an apple tree. Next, boys and girls, I want to share a story with you called Apple Farmer Annie. Annie is an apple farmer. She has a big orchard of apple trees. In the fall, she picks baskets and baskets of round, ripe apples. She grows many kinds of apples. She sorts and organizes them. Annie uses some of the apples to make sweet apple cider. Doesn't that look good, boys and girls? She uses others to make delicious, smooth applesauce. She loves baking muffins, cakes, and pies with her apples. And she has little helpers, a cat and a dog. But she saves the most beautiful ones of all to sell fresh 
at the market. She loads everything into her truck and drives to the city. Annie the apple farmer sets up her stand in the farmer's market. Lots of customers come to Annie's stand. She is busy all day long. By the end of the day, she has sold everything. She packs up to go home. Annie is tired but happy. It feels so good to have her own apple farm. Did you like that story, boys and girls? I sure did. Next, boys and girls, I'd like to share a poem with you. It's called A Wiggly Worm. Way up high in an apple tree, I saw two eyes looking at me. I reached for an apple, it started to squirm. Oops, I found a wiggly worm. That wiggly worm is a friend of mine. We eat apples all the time. I let him crawl back to the tree. Hey. I see that worm looking back at me. Next, boys and girls, let's learn how to sing the Apple Teapot song. It goes just like the I'm a Little Teapot, but we sing it this way instead. I'm a little apple, short and round. I make a munchy, crunchy sound. If you bite into me, you will see I'm delicious as can be. Okay, boys and girls, I want you to sing it with me this time. Ready? I'm a little apple, short and round. I make a munchy, crunchy sound. If you bite into me, you will see I'm delicious as can be. One last time, boys and girls. I'm a little apple, short and round. I make a munchy, crunchy sound. If you bite into me, you will see. I'm delicious as can be. Very good, boys and girls. Good job. Boys and girls, do you know the parts of an apple? Let's see, here's an apple. What do we call the outer layer? What's on the outside of the apple? The skin, good job. How about this part that's growing out from the apple? Stem, yes, very good. How about the part we eat? Let's cut this one open. It would be this part right here. That's the part we eat. That's called the flesh. Very good. How about the part in the center that we don't eat? That's called the core. Very good. And inside the core are these little guys. Do you know what they're called? The seeds. Yes, good job. Now we cut the apple in half that way, but I want to show you something really cool, boys and girls. Instead of slicing down that way, if we slice this way, let's see what it looks like. Oh, there's a star, boys and girls. Oh, I want to read that little star thing. Mm -hmm. The apple star, take an apple, round and red, 
Don't slice down, slice through instead. Right inside it, you will see a star as pretty as can be. Remember, boys and girls, eat an apple, save the core, plant the seeds, and grow some more. Well, boys and girls, till next time, keep on exploring Mother Nature. Bye!